Hi guys, Lee here from Trading College with your free market update. It is the 18th of April, it's about quarter past 10 in the morning here, and the morning session has finished. So let's just take a little look at uh, what's happened here. Don't forget, it is a, uh, a long weekend. Um, We've got Good Friday tomorrow, and there is a holiday, bank holiday on Monday. So it really is about managing yourself today. As a day trader, you want to go and grab some early profits and then decide whether you want to carry on trading for the day. Uh, I think what I'm going to be doing here is I've done one trade this morning um, on the FTSE short, 132.50 at £10 a point on the FTSE short this morning. Um, and we'll look at that in one second, the reason why. Uh, and then I'm probably going to do um, a couple of trades this afternoon in the um, New York session around the 2.30 mark. And then that's it done. Uh, I want to be heading for the door and uh, go and enjoy some family time. So let's... Um, and, the, and the reason basically I said that is because... You know, I, I've been there. I love trading where you get to a point where you just over trade and, you know, you want to have a good weekend. You don't want to be, you don't want to have made 500 and then you give it all back this afternoon and then go into a long four day weekend thinking what you did wrong, punishing yourself. Today is all about managing yourself on Fridays, going for your profits, going, you know, even if you don't make your day's money, you just go and grab. If you made 250 this morning, um, you know, and you're not at your 500 days money or whatever it is, then you just can head to the door uh, and just take it. All right, so you can have a nice weekend, not thinking about trading, maybe do some back testing if you want to, but really it's just about management of yourself. Okay, let's look at the um, FTSE trade this morning. Really, it's you know, it's all about bias. Where is the bigger time frame going? I see. I spoke to somebody the other day that just trades the one hour time frame. That is perfectly fine. But I want to know really, when I'm a, if I'm a shorter term trader on a five or two minute chart, I really want to know where the actual bias is. Where's the momentum? Bias just means momentum. Where's the momentum? Is it up or is it coming down? I've got red pro train system, so that does it for me anyway. I'm red, red, red here on the 60 minute on the FTSE. Storytellers momentum triggers pointing down, and we're going down here on the FTSE 100. You know, and then we come out the gate this morning on the long side on the open of the FTSE green. So I'm getting an out of sync here. I've got red here pointing down, and I've got green pointing up. You know, that's that's great opportunity because then I want to start to look for red. So when red start to kick in, then that's the short side. So now we're back in line with the one hour time frame i'm back in line with the one hour time frame i'm in sync with the one hour time frame so that's brilliant that's when i want to be trading and especially our students will be doing that in the live trading this morning be looking for short side trades in that in that scenario especially if they're doing it on a five minute chart five minute signal is short and the market pushes down okay easy profits from this morning at around 8 15 8 20 for red PTS and of course there's other strategies that we use for the morning session but that is as simple as it becomes okay so if you're somebody uh, we'll look at the bigger time frames in one second see where the FTSE is going but if you're somebody that's struggling with your trading you're you're not making money you are losing confidence and it's not working you need a system you need a system in place guys systems will make it much easier for you all right a little bit of help there um, so Pro train system pushed down here, red, red, red. So the bias was to the short side. Okay, so let's go and have a little look at some of the swing trades. Let's take a look at crude oil here. We've had a lovely move up on oil, pushed higher here. Targets being met, 63.41. But the day before yesterday, we had a trend predictor short. Red arrow means that the next day we're looking for a down day. And you can see yesterday was a big down day in crude oil it dropped very nicely that red candlestick here on the right hand side was that down day and it worked out very nicely indeed so we're all looking for short side trades and yesterday was a very nice short side trade with the trend predictor arrow to short that market it's hanging on here crude oil and we could get a move back to the 20 period moving average we've not had that for a while so we may get a move back down here 
to the 20 period moving average. Let's go and have a look at the DAX. DAX is still long and strong. See, we've got the pro trend system buy here. First target was 11,090267. And we've got a next target here of 12,310. All right, so pushing up very nicely indeed. Um, I would make sure you turn your trading stop on. I would trail this stop, but now we're up. Uh, we, we, if we get if we get twelve three ten, then that is going to be a four half four five. It's about seven hundred pip point move there profit on the DAX. Really nice trade. Be careful a little bit, and the reason I would want to trail my stop a little bit more. Look at the trend predict. Uh, look at the storyteller. We've got a two wave setup, so we've basically got here. We got um, lines being formed here on our storyteller, which means we're getting a bit of two wave short. So you want to be trailing that stop, guys, in the place where we are now. Okay, um, and then looking elsewhere, I'm just going to show you the pound US dollar here, and something quite significant is is in play we have a white pro trading system white pro trading system means it is low volatility it's choppy markets on the pound us dollar daily chart we are sideways with price what that means is get ready for a move basically we could be here on the way down guys for a extended move possibly down to 126.85 on the pound versus the us dollar 128.91 is, is our first target, but 126.85 could be our next one. Wait for this to turn red. When we turn red here, this could flush quite hard, guys, on the pound US dollar. Okay, so we're in that phase where it's on our hot list. And um, this one is, if we can get through 130, you know, we, we move fast to the downside. And I think we'll go quite quickly. So we'll be focusing on that next week in the live trade room. Hope it helps. Have a great uh, holiday period. Uh, enjoy, relax, spend it with your family and uh, have a nice time. And I'll speak to you on next week's videos. Take care. Bye-bye. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel here, guys. Hit the subscribe button below this video and you will get notifications on the next trading update. Update. So I'll speak to you soon, guys. Take care. Hit that subscribe button and I'll speak to you soon. Take care.